racing games has always been pretty popular and always one of the most beloved gaming genres and whether it is played on the mobile devices or consoles we get tons of new attempts at it on a daily basis. Now that said, 2022 so far had no shortage of racing games either, so here today we're basically going to take a quick look at some of the greatest racing games to pick up and play for free right now. Let's go. All right, guys. First and foremost, and I'm not gonna lie, this has actually been around since almost four years ago, and now actually the sequel to probably the most desired drift game, well, technically Carx Drift Racing, with over a hundred million downloads ever since release. Simply now, Carx Drift Racing 2. Well, now technically playable in online co-op, in addition to the story solo mode, it runs much better than its sequel in terms of overall gameplay and graphics as well. The game is literally got zero ads and in my opinion this is to be either the best or the worst racing game of 2022. Take a quick look. Coming up behind that, with over a hundred million downloads on each platform since only last year, at number two, well, it's the one and only Race Master 3D Car Racing, which is, in my opinion, like Grand Theft Auto V and just the way races do feel generally, except that it is made by an indie developer instead of Rockstar. Frankly, this is to be at the moment one of the loveliest and fun to play racing games where you get to compete and avoid obstacles simultaneously. The game's got literally zero force ads, it's very addictive, gameplay is smooth as hell, it's challenging, visually it is stunning, and literally plays for free. At number 3, with over 10 million downloads on each platform since release, what we have here for those of you who missed it, Rebel Racing, first and foremost just a spectacular driving game with lovely graphics and some really good controls that work perfect on touchscreens as well, if you just let's say haven't got the fancy to go over this one with a controller. Quite frankly this is to be one of the best car racing games for smartphones at the moment with loads of content, customizable options, mods, tracks to choose from and playable both online co-op and solo here. Moving on now, we're looking at the direct sequel to the original Beach Buggy Racing that actually did come out years ago and now downloaded over a hundred million times on the Play Store. Well, technically for those of you new here, Beach Buggy has been around as one of the best console quality and style kart racing games on the mobile devices. Now with Beach Buggy Racing 2, the new game, you get obviously new content, a sort of amped up and smoother gameplay, new game mods, and for the first time you can actually compete against other players in online competitions and tournaments as well. The game's addictive, it's got awesome graphics as well, and last but not least, it plays for free. Check it out. Number 5, but once again with over 50 million downloads ever since release, we have another Carx game called, well as you can see, Carx Highway Racing. Well first off, for those of you new, technically just a mix of lifelike physics, which has been the center point of Carx games, and some real good looking graphics on top of an extreme driving experience. The game's already got tons of content to go through, it's addictive, for real, does stand out from the rest to be quite frank, mainly because of the varied mods it presents, it's got a story modes, online co-op and lots of other stuff for free. Take a look. Moving on 
we've got technically well the newest game from the makers of Mountain Climb Forex 4 that came out almost eight years since today and now Mountain Climb Stunt with over 40 million downloads on the Play Store already. Probably just the best stunt game ever on the mobile devices mainly because it's an upgrade from the other game with over 100 levels to go through in a sort of time beat racing style play with stunt the gameplay you know what i mean it's a very rewarding game very smooth it got tons and tons of content for free and lots of new cars and customizations to go with check it out <laughs> At number seven, and this has actually been around for free since seven years ago to this day, we have here Horizon Chase. As you can see, technically, first off, just a pretty good love letter to all retro racing gamers and inspired by the greatest of hits of the 80s and 90s retro racing games. Aesthetically, as you can see, mostly bringing back the graphic context of a 16-bit gem and adding a day and night cycle and playable basically all around the world. It's a good game, it's maybe a tad difficult, it's basically Top Gear, you know, from the old Sega Genesis era, except it's just way better. See for yourself. So, are you looking for a racing game that's easy to play, provides a real driving challenge and offers excitement and endless variation? Cool cars and dangerous visuals, all in fast and furious races that can be run in a matter of minutes? Well, technically, that's what the fine folks who made this game want you to think of, hence the description that I just read. But, technically, not only that is true, this game is also free and sitting on both platforms with over 20 million downloads ever since last year. Take a quick look. Sub multiplayer racing, on the other hand, literally the name of the game, is a co-op multiplayer that came around almost five years ago, now downloaded over 10 million times and with a very, very good review score too from critics. I would say this is probably the perfect online racing game with the good graphics and controls to have hands off for free right now. Plays very simple, it's, it's technically meant for all ages, you get a wide variety of cars to choose from with multiple sorts of upgrades to go through. At number 10, and this has technically been around since two years ago, we have on the other hand Racecraft Build and Race. Technically a racing game where you control remote control cars and tracks you get to make and go through them alone or with friends. It's a very simple game to learn and with a lot of possibilities to go through. Pretty fun, the stunts, the tracks, jumps, it's just awesome. It's got an endless amount of content to go with and with over 5 million downloads since release as well. Take a look.
Now, coming up behind that and with over 10 million downloads once again on the Play Store ever since release, we've got something over here called Garena Speed Drifters. Well, first off, technically, yes, an international version of the Korean QQ Speed Racing game that was developed by Tencent Games, pretty much inspired by the likes of Mario Kart and Sonic All Racers. It's a, it's a very challenging game, first and foremost. It's got a hefty amount of content, as is the case with all previous games, for free, easy to learn, easy to pick up and play. Graphically, the game is even a perfect 10 out of 10 in my book, and well, this is just basically how the game really looks. On the other hand, and sitting on the place so with over only a million downloads for free since a year and a half back, we have Nitro Jump Racing. I would say technically if you like car racing games and PvP style, fast pace and a fun racing experience is probably the one for you. This one also works very simple, it's got technically just two buttons, it's only a forward and a back button which is technically also the brake. Graphically, I don't know, the game looks legit, as you can see the controls are really smooth and this is how it really looks. They say there's nothing out there. Yeah, the road to nowhere. The further you go, the better. Coming up behind that, well, with over 5 million downloads since a few years back when it was released, on technically both platforms, at number 13, well, for those of you who missed it, something called hashtag drive, or just number drive, or just drive, I don't know, which is probably the best racing game on the Play Store. If you enjoy cars, you will enjoy this game one way or another. This is basically a mix of classics, sport cars and street racers. So technically not only does it stand out from the rest and not to mention the graphics, but it is also because of the well adapted control system. Plus it has quite a bit of funny elements going on with it too. Moving on, we've got uh, from a few years ago and a worthy successor of a saga that's been around since 2010, I, I've reason to believe. Well, here we have Mini Motor Racing 2, simply just a top-down driving game that you can play either alone or against other players online. You see, one of the best things about this game is that, to be quite frank, it's just a huge variety of tracks and the game mods you get to have hands-on. The controls are also pretty smooth and easy. It's perfect perfectly just adapted for touchscreens, and last but not least, the graphics of which are, in my opinion, outstanding. And last but not least, probably the oldest game to have been released in today's list, we have here once and for all, Big Win Racing. First, just a class action example of a pay to win racing game, but at the same time, to be quite fair, the very casual fun, even without paying, just a few force ads maybe, I don't know, you actually get to have a good few months of fun, on top of some good graphics with it, maybe just one big problem in case you're into it, this game technically knows your phone, so you can't really move over your progress to any other account or devices, so make sure you just play the game on the, on the same phone, just in case you care about the progress, anyway, take a look. 